I'm Ryan Powers from Baxley, Georgia. Uh, we farm about 300 acres of peanuts on our own. We do some custom harvesting. We farm also cotton, soybeans, and corn. We work about 1,800 acres total. Uh, I'm a fifth generation farmer. Uh, I've been helping my granddaddy here since I was a little boy. Um, in 2012, I come and took half the acres under my name and started helping him. In 2013, he said he was ready to retire, so I took on the rest of the acres, and he's he's been around to kind of give me advice, but I've been doing it all on my own since 2013. I tell people now that I, I like farming. I'm not so much on the business aspect of farming, but I love driving a tractor. I'd, I could drive a tractor or a combine or anything like that all day long. Just out there being by myself is probably the, the funnest time I have on the farm. A few years ago, we had the opportunity to take on a youth dove hunt. We partner with the Georgia DNR. Uh, it's been a, a real blessing on our part. We've, we've enjoyed it. Uh, we're able to lease out our cornfields. We plant sunflowers and stuff to kind of attract the birds. Um, the DNR helps with our seed and all, but we have a, a youth hunt on the opening day of dove season every year, and man, it's special. It's, I think we had close to 200 kids last year come out, and it's just a great opportunity to see kids that might not have a chance to do stuff like that with their parents or an adult in their life, and uh, it's really a blessing for us to get to see them out here and have somewhere they can hunt dove and, and just spend some quality time with their parents. I think farming, it's kind of a different struggle every day. There's always something new, a new problem to, to take on. I, um, I find it hard now with the way commodity prices are to um, decide which equipment I need, which equipment I can get by without, uh, how I can save money here without hurting my, my income and, you know, once we harvest the crop. I like most about farming is probably just being out in, in nature, seeing all God's creations, you know, uh, I get a, a first-hand look at everything and uh, I really get to take in all the blessings that we have. Yeah, uh, organizations such as the Georgia Peanut Commission, uh, they're a real big part of our, our farming experience. So uh, They're always researching something or studying something that they can always kind of give us advice that maybe we don't know which way things are headed, they're always there with some advice and uh, I think it's uh, money well spent. When I took over this farm and operation, uh, I was looking for ways to, to expand, to get more diverse. Um, we was able to get a, three breeder chicken houses a few years ago and we have a, a cattle operation and it's, it's really took the strain off the row cropping as far as the pressure of making it and making a substantial living every year. Uh, the chicken house has really made things easier. You know, I have a, I have a family that I, I, I really want to feed every year. You know, every day, and I got workers that, that uh, they depend on us to, to feed their family. So, I've always got to be thinking of ways to, to stay in the game and to get more diverse. And I feel like that's really helped our farming operation. As far as future generations go, I'm, I just remember watching my granddad farm and man, he's just somebody to look up to. Uh, he's always hard working, just busting in every which direction he could. And now that I got a daughter, uh, I, I can see it in her eyes, the way she loves to ride a combine, ride a tractor, she loves it. And I got a son on the way and I hope that he'll love it just as much. And I hope that I can keep everything going uh, where I can hand it off to them the same way my granddad did while I was coming along.